What a mast. Towering 165 feet in the air, this main stick with the shamrock is hollow and built like a bamboo fishing rod. Soiled as the second day is shirked by her short stay in our harbors, she is going into dry dock for a bath and overhauling before the big race. She is the hope of Sir Thomas Lipton in that gallant sportsman's fifth attempt in a score of years to lift the America's Cup. This picture gives Americans their first view of the graceful lines of shamrocks on the body. From bow to stern, she measures 81 feet and displaces 135 tons. Every line spells speed. The oil stains on her waterline give a startling expose of the condition of our harbor waters. When she gets her new dress, emerald green, white boot topping and bronze bottom, the shamrock will be kept out in clean open sea. A bit more scrubbing and a little work below, and the racer will be ready for her sails and the trials to follow. Sir Thomas Raising Advisor, Colonel Neal, and Skipper Hurd, a real hairy-chested he sailor man, are supervising the finishing touches. I say the electric boat company have docked the boat very successfully today, Captain. Yes, and so Sir Thomas Lipton will be highly delighted when he knows what they've done for us. I hope the painter fellows will put pl plenty of elbow grease into their work because they, they won't do any harm to the wood. Colonel, what do you and the captain think about the chances of the shamrock? Well, being a Scotchman, I'm pretty cautious. And if you wait till the first, after the first race, I'll be able to tell you a lot better. But I think we've got a very good boat, and I think we'll have a good chance. 